Welcome back, beautiful collective. Thank you for joining me here. Let's get straight to your messages. Collective energy. What does the collective need to see, know, or hear? Collective energy. Ooh, summer. Dream and journey. Set your sights higher. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Okay. Hmm. Unlock the magic within. So hold the space. Set your sights higher. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Now be graceful in movement and action. It's like summertime, you know, springtime is coming where people are sowing their seeds. You know, come summertime, you know, there's a lot of growth. But Spirit is saying, set your sights higher. Not all the seeds you sow are worth bringing to a harvest. It's like... This person probably did. They were sowing their seeds, thinking, you know, I'm going to get a harvest out of this, but it's not the case. They're repeating a pattern. And, you know, that could have been that spring, summer, you know, excitement of finding someone new, but... Are, what kind of seeds are you getting out of it? Like, for real. Set your sights higher. So what is it? You know, sexual? Someone to fool around with and screw? You might end up with a burden. This person did. They ended up with a burden. I don't know. Thinking a third party was gonna, you know, fulfill them. They might have gotten an invitation or started talking to other people. But it's leading to heartbreak. Because I don't know. You're setting your sights higher. You're moving on toward the Den of Pentacles. That's what I mean. I'm, the collective energy is looking for, I want something serious. I want something long term. I want someone who will put the work in. This could have been, had huge potential here, guys. But they changed their opinion. They rejected you, ignored you, and now they regret it. It's what's going on? Mental mind trap. Their ego got the best of them, and it's their ego that they trapped themselves in. Now, spirit's working on this person. There's the sun. They're out looking. Move beyond ancestral patterns. It's like this person. <sighs> Look. You are. You have moved beyond. You are reaping a harvest because you planted good seeds. You set your sights higher. You didn't settle for someone 
who was out f flinging around, you know what I mean? Wasting your time, wasting your energy. There's a life to be lived. Guys, you know, there's a whole life to be lived. And what I get angry about, what I hate the most, what people do, is waste other people's time and energy. Our time on this earth is short. Our time upon this planet is short in the spectrum of things. Why do people go around wasting other people's valuable time? You come in there, you offer genuine love and affection, and then they turn around and then they want to waste your time, your energy. That's what I think spirit is the angriest about. It's the wasted years. Wasting people's valuable years, their time, their energy, where they could have found someone better suited for them. Just saying. Yeah. I mean, the good thing is you found your value out of this, but This person, I don't care if they're a soul tie, I don't care if they're a karmic, I don't care if they're a false twin, I don't care who these people are. It is not kosher with spirit to waste other people's valuable time on this earth. My God, before we know it, we're all going to be gone. You know what I mean? Why waste people's precious time being in dead-end relationships, false starts, false twins, false, false, falsehood? Spirit is telling this person, telling you, to know your worth, know your value, and your time is valuable. Your time is valuable. And if people are coming up and they're not genuinely interested in you, they're faking, they're betraying you, they're, I, those are all excuses, all excuses. Yeah. Sick. It truly is. You are honest and straightforward with this person. You are honest, straightforward, and to the point. You're going to find out, guys, many of you are my age, some of you older, some of you younger. It's just so... Don't waste people's time. You don't know when your number is called. You don't know when your time is up on this earth. Why would people want to deprave other people of love in this life? And that's why spirit is angry at this person. Wasting precious time upon this earth. Where you could have been out in a finding yourself someone who was going to be legitimate with you, someone who was willing to put in the work and the effort. There's a lot of people out there that are looking for love. And you find someone authentic and genuine in this lifetime, you are lucky. 
this was handed to them on a silver platter and they snubbed their nose up at it. I cannot believe it. Oh well. Lesson learned. Spirit sight, you need another go around. With the lesson, you go right on over there and choose your third party because I'm going to teach you a lesson. You only... <laughs> Look. They're going to get hurt. And Spirit's like... What do you want me to do about it? What do you want me to do about it? You chose your actions. And every choice has consequences. You chose this. Spirit is, this is spirit telling this person. You chose this. You decided that what I offered you was not good enough. I told you to set your sights high. There's nothing higher than the Empress, except for the High Priestess. Now, I've told you, set your sights high. I give you somebody, I give you somebody of quality. I give you someone of value. I give you someone of integrity and you do them dirty and you lie to them and you cheat on them. Well, that is on you. You're learning this lesson because this person is crying the blues somehow. They are. That's what I said. love and then they're going to sit and put you in a competition try to control you angels are like not happening you're over here pretty confident pretty comfortable but they got greedy went superficial their downfall they pushed you away wasted your time your energy now they're saying I'm sorry I wasted your time I'm sorry I wasted your energy yeah it's just like they were keeping you stuck. I think you have every reason in the world to be angry about that. Like, I'm not talking about rage and all that. I'm talking about you have a reason to be, a legitimate reason to be angry about this. You had already learned your lesson, okay? Everybody says, well, you each had lessons to learn. Yes, you did, but primarily you had already learnt your lessons when you met this person. Many of you had already ascended. They could have learnt so much from you. They could have grown leaps and bounds with you. Um... Instead, they wasted your time, your energy, your life. Those are years you're never going to get back. And that's why spirit's angry. And that is why you have a righteous, there's a difference between righteous anger and self-righteous anger. You have cause to be frustrated. You have cause to be angry. Even though you are forgiving, even though you're trying to reach that point of forgiveness, in some cases, you know, it's just they blew, they made you lose 
other opportunities that could have made you very happy. And they can sit over here playing their little game of, you know, sowing your wild oats or sowing your wild seeds. I mean, come on. You do that in your teens. You do that in your 20s. You know, you don't do that as a grown-ass adult. You don't waste people's time and energy and resources. I just... I'm sorry, um, but it's here I have to say it. Like, we're human, okay? Going out there, carrying on like a... <clears throat> A teenager which is fine to do do it on your own but don't be in a relationship with somebody and do it you want to go out and do that go out and do that but don't waste other people's time and energy who are genuinely looking to find a good partner a good soulmate that's why I get angry at it because, like, you know, it's ignorant is what it is. It's ignorance. Self-centered, selfish. universe has been working with this person the universe told them be graceful in movement and your actions move beyond ancestral patterns look and their ancestral pattern must be you know school so your wild oats well do that when you're a teenager or in your 20s. Don't waste grown people's time and energy in relationships who are seriously looking for a relationship and leading them on and stringing them along. I don't care what people say about it. Don't waste people's time. Nobody likes their time being wasted. Why would the collective energy like people to waste their time? Treat others as you yourself would like to be treated. <laughs> you know, I, these people would cry the loudest if somebody did that to them. Oh, you waste all my time and energy. I mean, all the work I put into that. I mean, they'd be the loudest complainers of all. And they're going to be. Now they're going to learn what it feels like. And that's on them. I don't have sympathy. I don't. You don't do that to human beings. You walk into a relationship. You be honest and straightforward. And if you're not a match, you get out of it and you tell the person, I'm sorry, I don't think we're a match. You don't lead them on, stay in it, waste their time, energy until to the point where, you know, they can't find somebody else. It's just, there's no excuse. It's excuses. It is. There's no excuse for it. Doesn't matter what they say. There's no excuse for that. I don't even care that they cheated. Like I said, I care about the time that's been wasted where you could have been out meeting someone who had the same values as you wanting the same things as you no spirit is saying they got to pay their karma for it 
it was all arranged. Like, it was all arranged by the universe. They didn't waste everybody's time and energy dealing with silly-ass bullshit. Guys, some of you have reserved yourselves to say, I'm staying single. I don't want to go out there and date. I don't want to go out there and waste more years of my life. That's a crime. That's a sit. Like, that's sad. But I understand it because I'm in the same boat. I don't want to. And the reason I don't want to is because I am getting older. And I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to date anybody. Because... You know, my life is closing out. You know what I mean? Some people say, some people say, well, you know, I, I've i known people in their 70s that have found their perfect match. I know people in their 70s that have found true love. It depends on who you are and who the person is, I guess. But quite honestly, there's still consequences to pay for this person they they're not getting out of it they're not getting out away with it like they have to pay consequences and they're going to find themselves too like they're getting older and when it's done to them Well, they might know what it feels like. I guess that's what spirit's getting at. You know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Treat others as you yourself would like to be treated. And that's simple. And if they figure justifying what they did is okay with the universe, it's not okay with the universe. And they can talk to the talk to the moon all they would like. It's an excuse. Take care.